Let's right. bring in Jonathan Isabee. Jonathan, you've heard them. I mean, they've looked me straight in the eye. They seem plausible people to me. Uh, and they've both said that absolutely they're not trying to stop Brexit. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, I think we probably need to go down to a discussion of what, how they define Brexit. Because I think a lot of people who say they accept the referendum result don't accept that that also means leaving things like the single market and the customs union, which was fundamentally part of Brexit. But what we're hearing today is people who, in the main, all opposed Brexit. Uh, what you've got today the government doing is putting down a written statement, which I'm sure Anna and Dominic are aware of. The government are, set down in right, are going to set down in writing all the ways in which the government are going to give members of parliament ways of scrutinising and voting on the final Brexit deal. There are no end of opportunities for MPs to do that through the, the resolutions, through primary legislation which is going to be put forward by the government to implement the bill at the accept, end of the process. Do you process. accept, Jonathan, do you accept this? Isn't the job of parliamentarians, particularly those who ideologically don't actually agree with what is happening, mm. but are trying to make the best fist of it, isn't their job to push, prod, poke and challenge, in this case, their own government at every move to try and guarantee at least it is done properly? I think the government is doing it properly, and the government has indeed listened to some concerns that have been expressed, and I think the government were very sensible to accept an amendment about having a sifting committee looking at what issues do and don't get put before parliamentary votes in terms of the process. But what we have to remember at the end of the day is the British people did vote in unprecedented numbers last year for Brexit, for that. this process well, they're not to happen. Disputing that. <laughs> okay, but Jonathan, you know not... what the real question is? I actually heard you snorting yeah. with actually, I think I'm either derision or extreme. fury, but no, something was going on. Because I've got a bad cold there. But right. The real question to Jonathan is, Jonathan, what's your problem? The government says it wants to do a law, a, a, a statute, to give Parliament a meaningful vote. So what's the problem with putting it into this law? Because nobody, but nobody, has given either Dominic or I a good reason, in fact, any reason, why this shouldn't happen. All right, Jonathan, what is the good reason? Well, look, so apart from the fact that the government is giving plenty of opportunities for votes on these issues, what this bill is doing, amongst other things, as I understand it, is setting up the mechanism by which EU citizens' rights can be sorted out no. uh, uh, sooner rather than later. No, and it's got nothing by, to do with making, it. By making the invocation of this uh, legislation dependent on some final vote at the end of the process, it will stop the government from getting on with other important issues. Dominic uh, takes in the issue meantime. with that.